I didn't have the maturity to balance that rebellion with a little bit of diplomacy. I mean, I say it now, I was a rebel yeah. and now I'm a diplomat because rebellion got me this far and now if I still want results and a rebellion is not getting it for me, then diplomacy would be my next. Right. And also speaking truth to power right. a lot, you know, I was calling out musician rights and, and, and producerial rights, I was mm. calling out people for endorsing fairness creams, mm. blah, blah, blah. So no one likes the one solo guy who's trying to play conscience. I never deny the fact that we have privileges born into the film industry. I can go on about the fact that as a star kid, you're already expected to be at a higher standard than another newcomer. And it's not as simple as black and white. It isn't just that, oh, you were born in it, so you have easy access. I put a post, I said, well, can we talk about caste in that case? Because mm -hmm. you're supposed to carry on the profession of your father and you're not allowed to move out of it. It exists in every industry, nepotism does. And it more so in India than other countries, simply because we are a culture of jati. Was your father an actor? Uh, yeah, he only did two films. This wasn't a very good one, though. <laughs> <laughs> was he the lead? Ajit Deol was the lead and was that the... He was the lead in one of them. Okay. One never got made and I remember Honey Auntie, uh, Zoya's mum, she said the cutest thing to me once. She said that, your father's the reason why my film didn't release. I was like, why, what do you mean? She's like, he had to hold my face. And how did he hold it like this? He was shivering. <laughs>